Alrighty then. 25 events have now been cleared here on the championship tree, and we are now going to continue this by doing our next knockout event, the point-to-point -point knockout. And where if we win this, we will unlock the Porsche Carrera GT. All bets are off in this race knockout at a point-to-point -point course, Scenic Drive. The goal, finish first against five other drivers of some of the hottest exotics in the world. Unlock event 29 when you successfully complete this event, and as a bonus, the Porsche Carrera GT becomes available too. So like with every other knockout race, we obviously have to win in order to advance. And this was the car that we used last time, the Dodge Viper GTS for the muscle car knockout. And the courses we are going to include Scenic Drive, Autumn Crossing, Mediterranean Paradise, Rocky Canyons, and Tropical Circuit. Four out of five of those courses, by the way, are reverse courses. The first one is the singular course. And we can use seven cars here. So we can use either the Chevrolet Corvette Z06, the Dodge Viper GTS, the Ferrari F50, both Lamborghinis, and both Porsches. And I think just because I want to use the Ferrari again, I'm going to choose the Ferrari F50. And I'm going to drive this thing in Rosso Corsa, otherwise known to us in English as Red. Although technically speaking the Italian translation for Red is just Rosso, but point is, I digress. So it's a five race tournament, six of us are officially in this and strangely enough from the trivia part of this event, there is something that does reveal a Ferrari 360 Spider as being one of the opponents. I honestly couldn't tell you why, but I'd assume that's a glitch. But in terms of our other competition, we have a Porsche 911 Turbo, another Ferrari F50, along with a Dodge Viper GTS, and a Diablo. Which means we have no Merchilagos in this event. Okay, let's go. As I'm just, uh, sipping my coffee. Okay, anyways, let's do it to it. As I immediately move up two positions off the line from 6th to 4th in the first corner. And this, I would imagine, is going to go by pretty fast. And it's pretty clear to say that I have chosen one of the best cars for this event, from what I can tell. And so far so good, as I hit a top speed of 177 down the stretch, in spite of there being a bit of contact made there, but still got plenty of time to make up for the speed deficit. I'll probably hit 180 at some point, is what I'd imagine will happen. And that's a tree. I can't really say I'm surprised in all honesty. I basically knew once I got in the air that sooner or later I was going to wind up crashing, but luckily for me at least, I wasn't the only one who got caught up in all of that high speed chaos because somebody else also wrapped themselves, probably by forgetting to slow down whilst in the air. but anyway. So around the corner now, can I get above 200? And uh, not quite. I almost went over 200, but 
wasn't quite there for the taking, unfortunately. But it's fine. We've still got plenty of time to catch back up to the leaders. And I run straight into a rock. Well, this thing is definitely fast. There's no question about that. Still, where the hell is the other... Where the hell is the Ferrari 360? Because I've honestly got no idea where he currently is. And... Oh my god, I just hit 208. I just hit 208 in terms of my top speed. I did not think I was going to be quite that fast. I can definitely tell you that much. But anyway. Running in second. Can I manage to catch back up to the leader? Going on the inside. And that's a wall. And doesn't look like it. Can I at least hold on to second though? You've qualified I for the next round of knockout competition. Okay, so didn't quite get the win You've in the end. The Need for Speed edition of the Lamborghini Diablo VT 6.0. I'm going to assume I must now have over 2 million NFS points. But anyways, that's what we unlock from that. The Lamborghini Diablo Need for Speed edition. Alright, so didn't quite get the win in the end, and Mika in the Ferrari 360 Spider is already the first one to be eliminated. And I had the top speed in the end of 209. I almost won the race, but then, as I would have expected, my ineptitude prevented me from scoring big when it mattered most. I think the game might have crashed for a moment. Well, we'll wait and see to be sure, but... Oh, okay. It must just be an in-game freeze. Not anything to uh, <clears throat> do with the game itself, I don't think. Anyways. Second race. Autumn Crossing 2. This will pretty much be similar to how I won the... No to how I won the muscle car knockout. Well, at least I got some points from starting in second. And now I immediately take over the lead. I should have taken that shortcut, but fortunately nobody else takes the shortcut, so I'm pretty much home free. Obviously did not want to risk getting damaged too early on with this thing. And, believe it or not, that's precisely what I do. I'm also pretty sure if Ferrari would have seen me crashing the car this much in real life, they probably would... They probably would have taken it away from me already. Fortunately, however, this is not real life. And this is a car I basically get to keep. as long as I also manage to win with it. Still, I had a feeling this car was going to be fast. But as to how fast, well, that's one thing I could never tell you, for sure. But I can definitely say I've chosen one of the best cars for this event, because that's just... how fucking fast this thing really is. And that's a wall. But it's cool, because we still have a long way to go before the end of this thing. As long as I can make it through to the final round with at least a shot at making the big points, then... I should be okay. 
It should also be mentioned, this car does not like driving off-road very much. This car is also very loose. But either way, I am somehow still in the lead with this thing. Well, anyway. Keeping myself out in the lead. At this stage. And I'm now going to move straight over to the mining tunnel because I know that's where some pretty crucial time will be made up. And already the proof is with the time made up as I hold on to my race lead. I was going to say that might be a scoring error. Glad to say I was right about the scoring error bit. Anyways. On the brakes and... I'm so glad I missed that sign. And... So close to the finish now. Just trying to keep myself under control now and at least keep myself in contention for this thing. I reckon if I'm able to get at least one win before making it to the final round then I should be in a good spot. At least that's my idea of thinking about this. And... Up on the inside, I go. He tries to force me into the wall, but for the next round of it doesn't work. He does not benefit. That was a pretty crazy ending, I'm not gonna lie. And it was Wayne who basically tried to pull one off on me, but he did not succeed. And... It was one who had the highest top speed, this time, of 199. Well, anyways. And a four-way tie for the highest average speed. Interesting. Anyway. Another race is won, so... Let's now move on to... Our next race. Actually, on second thoughts, no. I'll get a replay. Just because I've not got one from Autumn Crossing now for a while. Excuse me. I should also mention, heading into this, I also had an apple. So if I'm burping, it's probably because of that. I do apologise if you're hearing there being burps in the background. I'm just sipping my coffee, don't mind me. Okay. Just a little bit longer and then we should be good. Okay, we're done. Let's now move on to... Race 3.
which takes place at Mediterranean Paradise 2. So both Mika and Dom have now been eliminated. And we've got two Ferrari F50s with one Diablo and one Viper. In other words, one bull and one snake and two prancing horses. Basically, if you're using animal terms. Not quite able to get the jump on the start, but at least I do get my bonus points. Once this race really gets going, the Ferrari should pretty much be in its own around here, I'd imagine. I know that shortcut is not going to benefit the Diablo too much. Of course, there is a reason why I chose the Ferrari F50 for this. Because I figured it made sense with all the speed. Okay, well, I'm not going to risk taking the shortcut this time. Because I actually want to try and see if it's possible for me to keep this thing in good nick. In other words, I want to try and see if I can manage to keep this car in good condition for long enough for me to say that I do at least care about preserving a car as elegant as this one. It's also because, well, I think the Ferrari F50 compared to its predecessor, the F40, I've always thought the Ferrari F50, whilst it's not quite as good looking as the F40, I think it is a bit underrated. I mean, it may not be as good looking as the F40, but I still think the F50 does deserve more recognition than it actually gets. Especially since this car did mark 50 years of Ferrari being involved in racing competition since that was what it basically did. I oh mean, yeah, I should have taken that shortcut. Oh well, there's still, there's still plenty of time to make up for lost ground. But I still think this car deserves more credit than it actually gets. Because, personally speaking, I've always quite liked the F50. And I think that, in and of itself, should be a reason why... ...this car deserves more credit than it actually gets, is what I think. No, I might have cracked the windshield, but at least I know both my headlights are still working. Well, I kind of knew this was coming, but... I know now that this is a shortcut I cannot afford to miss. As I almost run straight into that tree, but... ...able to step on the brakes quickly enough to avoid it. And now... We have just 15% of this race to go. Can I win it? Only time will tell. But one thing that's for certain is, I've definitely chosen a fast car for this. Still, so, wonder what my top speed is going to be in the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck me. Yep. You qualify for the next round of <sighs> knockout competition. Jesus Christ. Literally everything was going according to plan until suddenly until suddenly the Diablo got right on my ass. He basically bumped me and then 
shortly afterwards, what ensued from there was chaos. And yet I somehow made it through. Again, you don't have to win in order to make it through to the next round, you just have to avoid finishing last. Well, at least I have one win on the board, so... I'm not too fussed. I was a little surprised to see how it basically just became a last corner rack fast, but at least I made it through, which is a good thing. And Ashley has now been eliminated. So Wayne starts on pole ahead of me and won. The three remaining opponents, it's going to be a pretty close tussle over which one, excuse me, will be the best, but hopefully I will manage to get up into the lead as long as I don't manage to rack myself too much. Because there are times where I at least want to prove that I'm not always accident prone. Just basically trying to prove that you don't always have to crash in order to win. You just need to have a good car when you need it most. And no one has opted to take the runway, so that at least gives me a little bit of leverage. And now, heading down here and also stepping on the brakes as I cross over the river. And that's a rock. And heading through here because it's a shortcut. And yep, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. There was just no way I was going to make it through one of those tunnels without suddenly hitting the top. I just knew it was going to happen without any shadow of a doubt. It was just a simple matter of when it was going to happen. Anyways. Well, the shortcut almost worked to full effect. Whilst it did get me out in the lead, I was not satisfied with the way it turned out to be. And maybe I should have just slammed on the brakes and tried to ignore it, but... Truth of the matter is, I still crashed even though I didn't want to. And this race is going to be surprisingly shorter. Oh, okay. I have no idea what that Lamborghini was thinking there, but... Whatever he was trying to do, it probably wasn't going to work. Come on, hold 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 on. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Made it. You've qualified for the next round of knockout competition. <sighs> Something tells me these tense moments are gonna become more reoccurring. Thankfully, however, I did reach the flag first, and that means I'm automatically through to the final round. And pretty low top speed overall, only 170, but I don't care, because I'm through to the final round, and I'm just going to live with that. So, final round of the point-to-point -point knockout. It's going to be a battle between myself and Wayne at Tropical Circuit. As one was eliminated in the previous race at Rocky Canyons. Alright, here we go. Tropical Circuit. Let's try and see if we can pull this off. Hopefully we can. And I'm going to immediately dive to the shortcut. since I figured that might help me get the initial advantage. I know that advantage is not going to hold, but 
it at least gives me enough time to figure out what's next. And that's a wall. Oh well, it's fine. I'm still leading, so it's fine. I would also imagine the next couple of events in Ultimate Racer are, are going to be similar to these events, but what I also think is but what I also think is under the circumstances If I manage to win this event, then it at least means I'll only have not many more to go in Championship mode. Of course, I know there will be some bonus events after I'm done with Event 30, and I'd imagine the Ultimate Racer tree is going to be something similar to that as well. And hitting a top speed down there of 187, and immediately going to dive for the short shoot and oh, what do you know, Wayne follows me he's probably realised that the short shoot is clearly the best line to take and at the moment I'm doing pretty good as we are now just past the halfway point here at Tropical Circuit and scraping the guardrail there for a moment but still able to at least keep myself out in the lead And hitting a top speed of 190 down that stretch and looks looks as though we are coming up on this pretty tight hairpin shifting down into first gear to make the corner getting a little bit of oversteer there on the exit but able to get myself back in the thick of it I've also established taking the outside road does actually help you from time to time but anyway I hold the lead here at Tropical Circuit and hopefully I can manage to successfully stay in the lead Can I please hold on? Hopefully I will manage to hold on. So one corner left. He's right behind me, but he's not gonna get me. You won the knockout! And that is another knockout event secured. Nice going. You have just won the point-to-point -point knockout. I think this is also the most car choices we've had for a single event in this game so far you've unlocked the Porsche Carrera GT and we've now got the Porsche Carrera GT among our cars unlocked you beat the best time for this track probably because I'm the only one who set the time for this track okay anyway well, I've already got a replay, so don't need to worry about that. Let's just go back to the 
event tree now. And go and check out our new cars. Because if you've been watching this, what you will also know is we unlocked the NFS edition Lamborghini Diablo. And I am now going to show both of those cars off. Because why not? So, let's see. Okay, now where is it? Ah, here it is. So this is the Need for Speed Edition Lamborghini Diablo 6.0. I'm also pretty sure this looks like a chameleon scheme. Because I can definitely see there being multiple colours on this thing. I can see probably both orange and yellow being the two main candidates regarding colour. There's probably some choices of green in there as well. I'm not going to be able to use all of these cars unfortunately, but I will at least try and use most of them. Since that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. And the other car we unlocked, if I just head over here, here it is. The Porsche Carrera GT concept version is officially what we win from beating the point-to-point -point knockout. Not bad. Not the bad. Okay. Anyways. Lamborghini Past versus Present will be our next event in Championship Mode. Coming in the next episode.